I'm Ian Rothman, Senior Principal of Crawford Parrotry Fallways. Crawford Parrotry School is situated in Craig Avon, a suburb within Johannesburg North. The school is a real community school. It's really that serene place that we come to every single morning. We're a standalone preparatory school with children ranging from year one to year seven. My name is Judy Goodchild. I'm the deputy principal for grade six and seven. I also teach maths here at Crawford Four Ways. Hi, I'm Sarah Naidu. I'm a deputy here at Crawford Four Ways. I'm a deputy of the intermediate phase, which is the grade fours and fives. My name is Robin and I'm the deputy principal for foundation phase and the PYP coordinator at Crawford Four Ways. Crawford Four Ways, we live with a tagline that in this space you are free to dream. And I think with the introduction of the PYP program, it's just lifted the ceiling for the children, for the staff, as far as just what their focus is on education at the moment. When I heard that Crawford was introducing it, I was ecstatic because I believe that, really do believe it's the the best program available for primary school children. I found since we've implemented the PYP program that there's a better understanding. Children have got more knowledgeable questions that they ask us. They wonder about things, they investigate about things, they don't just blindly trust Google. They actually go and contact people to get their opinions of what's really happening. So the children, for me, is far, there's a far greater understanding. They're far more engaged in their learning. The program has allowed us to develop certain skills within the children that we really, we understand, are going to carry them through into the future as far as careers that, don't, that haven't been established yet, as far as an understanding of what is needed to be successful in this world as well. One of the things I absolutely love is there's a huge emphasis in the PYP program around international mindedness and their mission statement is about includes helping children develop so that they can make the world a better place and I just think that's what we should all be doing. Um, and every, every unit that we do in every grade has an aspect where we, we get children to really think about their own thinking, their own perspectives, to look at perspectives of others locally and globally. And through that, they, they really start to get a global perspective of, of issues and how they can solve problems in the world um, and to just really develop that open-mindedness and that international mindedness. Over the course of the last 18 months, to have seen the shift that has happened has been truly amazing. It is a program that opens up new worlds for not only our pupils but for our teachers as well because it changes the way in which they are thinking. It changes the way in which they approach their teaching. It's almost a paradigm shift from what they have learned from the very beginning in terms of what the teacher's role is because now they've actually become facilitators in the classrooms as opposed to being the knower of all the knowledge, you know, and just teaching the children. So they themselves have also become learners in this journey that we have embarked on. And um, it has become something that has injected a sense of rejuvenation, of renewal, of looking at things from a totally different perspective. And we've seen through the program that the children have become exceptional communicators. They, they are inquiring into things that we never expected of children ranging from 6 to 13 years old. Their research skills have improved. They, they are far more balanced in the approach that they, that they take to their learning. Um, the other thing that's been really exciting for us has been the, the change that's happened within the learning environment. We, we have learning spaces, we have a lot more collaboration, we work very hard at ensuring that the children follow interests, that the children are given every opportunity with technology to be able to, to just broaden their horizons as far as what the expectation is for learning. 
for me personally, what I love about it is that we are working with children on a very personal level. And now what we are doing is we're actually exposing them to what is happening out there in the world. So we then look, we take it from the personal level, what's happening in our homes, then we look at what's happening in our community. And it's actually cemented the links to the community. So the school then is not operating in a vacuum, you know, in the community. It is now starting to now um, reach out to the community and start becoming involved in the community. Every unit that children are involved with, or every actually facet that they're involved with um, the PYP program, they're expected to take some sort of action. And the action can be simply being more responsible for their own learning, um, you know, developing their skills, developing their attributes. But the action can also be taking what they've learned and using it to uplift and build the community around them. And I think that aspect for me is really, with us talking to children about it on a daily basis, they really start seeing about how they can be can bring change and how they can make the world a better place. As far as the whole feel around the school, it's different. Learning is not just about being in a classroom anymore. Learning is about experiencing the world. We're fortunate that we have technology within our schools, within our classrooms, that the children can broaden their horizons. So it's not just the information that's being given. They set what their learning path is. Crawford Four Ways is now not just a school that's situated here in Johannesburg, in Gauteng, in South Africa. It's now a member of a global society.